Greetings, chapter 4. The battle of the Armageddon begins. It was before I reached the Cairns, before the journey in Melbourne. While preaching to Melbourne, the word of true God, I had enough of evil forces and their way of tempting and causing society to sin and crime against each other and true God. So laying in bed one day, I prayed to true God. Then got angry with, with control, I prayed to Satan. Saying, no, that prayer means talk, so I talk to Satan. So you can hear me. And saying, I challenge all of you, every one of you, not one at a time, but all at once. For Jesus, whom I trust, will give me the victory as I fight in a megadon. For in the past, you challenged all my brothers and sisters. Now it's my turn to challenge you and our turn. That night, I could not sleep as I seen all evil spirits attacking me with all kind of weapons. I saw this in actual vision. There in my room, as all people were put to sleep. I knew this because I was young and streaming and nobody could hear. Nobody came to my rescue. My mother was just in the next room. Anyway, I fought for 40 days and nights without any sleep, with eating nothing or drinking, in fasting, prayer, and hopefully faithfulness. Well, did I have a choice anyway? As I wiped out all satanic territory with no armor, just one sword. So as much as the next million or so of them ran in battle away, back where they came from. This thing also took place again in Heathcock, on my own. The same thing as other evil spirits fought me. But one other thing that happened by all people sleeping as they thought it was one night, but was 40 days and nights. As I saw the sun ascend and descend, and that evilness couldn't, couldn't believe the strength God gave me. So they caused all the stars to fall from heaven as they were heading this way. So instantly, I controlled the earth and caused it to go in a certain, in, in a certain place known to me as the center of all existence, which I thought was safe. But only three stars almost hit the earth as I saw them fly by. So saving the earth, I faced one problem. It was now getting very cold. So I bring my star as in the near earth and also the sun and saw two suns present on the earth. I bring them as close as the atmosphere. Continue from the story, the sun is not only hot. Okay, it's hot from the position of the universe that it's standing because I'm bringing it in the atmosphere, our own sun, to heat up the place. It was getting cold, I'm bringing it slowly, I didn't bring it in, in one go. It was in my burners. I didn't know if it burn it, the planet will help. So I bring it slowly to heat up the place. I bring it as Christ. I, I saw it four or five or six or seven times bigger than, than usual. I don't know how big it was, but it was pretty big. It's not as hot only. being conscious. It's not hot being conscious. In any position. It's hot at the position where it is in the universe. Anyway, continuing from that story, where am I up to here? I saw two suns present on the earth. 
and hit one behind our one, but it was very cold and I was in my jocks because I had no time to dress for battle. I said, Lord, I, Jesus, I cannot get the sun at the right distance. So as we don't perish, nor do I know how to get it in the right place, that is the earth. Please, by your power, I just saved the world, but on the other hand, in my still perish. Jesus, I pray, defeat satanic attack and put existence back to its original order. This is what I prayed to, to, to Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit. It was then done instantly. I fought for many hours trying to fix it because scripture, I couldn't remember this part of scripture and I couldn't remember to pray to Jesus. Instantly the Holy Spirit puts into my head to pray to Jesus. Something along those lines, I don't know exactly know what happened. But eventually I got around to pray to Jesus. Within a second it was fixed. I was fighting hours trying to fix it. I couldn't fix it at all. Anyway. But during this period, period before pain, just after I said, take the power away from me, Jesus, I then said that is, take the power away from me, Jesus, and give it back when I need to use it. The reason why I said that is because I helped the earth but at the same time. I, did, I couldn't fix it, the problem they had. So I prayed that at the certain period of time, just give me the power back. When I know how to use it in the right way, that, that not only would I fix the problems, but I help the earth as well. And if, any, if there's any problem, I will fix it. Then it'll be safe. So. so I prayed that to secure this place. Anyway. <coughs> I believe he's given me the power back, but I haven't used it for a very long time, but anyway. I was, at that time, I was in some sort of twilight zone. For I was near the main road, yet not one car went past. And after 40 days, I looked for food when the battle was over. And there was none. The Bible says you only last 39 days in fasting. I had, uh, and you're supposed to eat a little bit and drink water. I had no, nothing to eat, no water, and lasted beyond 40 days. Anyway. And after the 40 days, I looked far for food. That is, I looked for food and there was none. I prayed instantly, holy angels came and fed me. Then instantly, my mother came to the farm, days after the angels had left. I said, Mum, where have you been? I had no food for 40 days. Because she said she'll come in one day, you see. She said, what do you mean? I have only left and came back in one day, I told you I'd bring food. I was stuck in the middle of nowhere. It's not my, my mother's fault, but anyway. Instantly, as my mother went to wash the dishes from the past before 40 days, that is before the 40 days when the dishes were dirty, before the 40 days, for I had no time to wash them, for I was in battle. For the Spirit of true God appeared as I saw him as a giant about as big as the biggest building I have ever seen. And anointed me as with a sword, stating, you won. You are the general. Jesus is the king. I said, me, Lord, as if to say, I've just done my duty and don't deserve this also fearing he'll, he'll cut my head off. But each time he would leave, as I said this, he would re anoint me and return, that is, return and anoint me. I think about seven times. I said, okay, God, I accept. 
as he vanished before my eyesight. I was also in tears during the second battle. Our enemy killed me as I tried to fight. This is before this happened, before the Lord appeared and my mum came while I was fighting. During the second battle, our enemy killed me as I tried to fight, but Jesus only raised me. I felt the pain of death and the breath of life vanished. Although I fought the battle with only a sword, I now understand how to fight with the full armour as well as the big bomb that is not against creation but evil forces which creation will not feel it or see it or anything like that that is it's not a bomb like our type of bombs it's a spiritual thing but anyway it is not the big bomb as nuclear bombs that destroy creation no that's Satan's we weapon against us my big bomb is a nuclear thing in the spiritual sense that preserves life but kills evil spirits. I have invented that, or rather God has in shown me how to use it. We'll take a break.